a man after my own heart. I can think of no greater gift than the gift of chapstick. Maybe a puppy. I also want to talk about how cute this is. I could probably put it on Noodle. He loved it. Did you see that? He freaked out. I'm sure anyone watching this has probably brushed their teeth at some point in the past 48 hours. I'm hoping. Okay, quick, Adam, say something to me. Seriously. What? That is actually when I learned in my childhood that everything is a lie. Hi, my name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we explore the everyday tools that everyday entrepreneurs need to succeed. And today's episode is featuring John J. Bedayan, who you may know as a visual arts expert who has worked on big Hollywood movies like The Grand Budapest Hotel, but he's absolutely marvelously talented and within his success as a visual effects master, he decided to direct his own film called Rockaway. And it is an incredible film. It's a huge transition from his career, although they're technically in the same industry, to go from visual effects and visual manipulation to being an actual director. There's such a huge shift there. I mean, anything in entertainment is a huge risk, right? People who go into entertainment do it because they love it and they can't see themselves doing any, anything else. So I really, really appreciate uh, this man and the way that he's taken his career and really, really owned it. John, if you're watching this, Noodle is available for castings. And he can play many roles, like um, stagnant turtle, or, or sentient potato, you know, or woman number four, right? Whatever you need. Whatever you need him to be, he can be. So uh, John, Hollywood, whoever's watching, uh, Noodle is ready for the spotlight. I, I am too, but that's, you know, neither here nor there. So we're gonna get into this box. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, the very first thing that is in this that I have to bring out is a value size bag of ring pops. I think this must speak to, um, I mean, I do love that his, direct, his directorial debut is a coming of age story, and I can imagine that as you're growing up, this very well may be one of your favorite things. I know I always had a penchant for Fruit by the Foot. It was not a foot. It was not even an even, you know, three feet or something. It was a very strange amount of inches that did not actually equate to a foot in any capacity. That is actually when I learned in my childhood that everything is a lie. And I turned out just fine. <gasps> did you guys see Enough, the Jennifer Lopez movie? Sorry, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the movie and you want to literally stop watching this video, at the end of Enough starring Jennifer Lopez, she learns that she's had enough and she has to defeat her abusive husband. So what she does is she teaches herself boxing. And she takes all of her fancy diamonds that her abusive husband bought her, she puts them on her fingers and she puts boxing tape over it. So that when she beats him up and she slaps him, she's got all these rings on her fingers. And I can imagine that that's the kind of thing that John was thinking of when he put this in his box. I do not know if John is the single greatest Ring Pop fan, but I love the idea that he's having a stressful day or something, and he's just really looking forward to his candy. Okay, the next thing we have in the box is a small shoe. We thought this possibly could be a metaphor um, for life and for taking chances, but in reality, it is literally just because he loves um, Converse. I also want to talk about how cute this is. I could probably put it on Noodle. No, I can't even put it on Noodle, it's too small. It is just truly the smallest shoe I've ever seen, and um, it's, it's just a thrill. And I think um, when, I see, when I see a small shoe like this, it just makes me think of all the, all the different possibilities. The next thing we have. A man after my own heart. Noodle has chapstick. It's a dog chapstick that he put on his nose for dryness. But everyone in the world should keep at least two of these on them at all times. Specifically because if you have one chapstick on you, it will disappear. That's the rule of chapstick. Now these are important for so many reasons. Not just because it's classic cherry, and I love classic, but it's because this man has to network. He has to meet people. He has to be on set. He has to impress people. He has to try and get funding. Could you imagine? trying to do that with crusty lips. Oh, you might have to cut, I think I'm gonna vomit. I think I'm gonna be sick. But chapstick is so important, whether you are going out on a business deal and you just feel like you've gotta be ready. And you know, you can get tinted chapsticks too. I don't know if you were just looking to kill it with the rouge or something, but you can absolutely do that. I accidentally did that one time. I bought a pomegranate, Burt's Bees, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna smell like pomegranate, but it was tinted and it just looked like I put lipstick on. So I went to work and they were all like, oh. 
you know, it's, it's 2018, do whatever you want, go ahead. But I, it was not intentional. I can think of no greater gift than the gift of chapstick. Maybe money, maybe a puppy, maybe like a car, a computer, really nice headphones, a oh, house, a house plant. Actually, there's quite a lot, of, there's quite a lot of presents you could get that are more impactful than chapstick, but it's still awesome. How you doing, buddy? We always like to check in with Noodle in the middle of these. Um, he does a lot of a lot of hard work. He actually puts all the boxes together. He decorated this himself. He did design the stickers. And one day we will reach out to an entrepreneur who makes dog products and we'll just shower him with them. The next item in the box is, is this, a, is this a really old cell phone? Okay, I think he said phone, and we didn't want to buy an iPhone for $1,200, so we bought this. Okay, I get that. This makes perfect sense now. So, this, obviously this, you know, this particular phone may not be the, you know, the most um, modern. This might be a noodle phone. He loved it. Did you see that? He freaked out. He absolutely loved that phone. Noodle, you can keep that. Um, staying in communication with people. He is in the entertainment business. He's a director, right? He filmed the movie. He has to be in constant contact with PAs, with actors, with assistants, with um, with with anyone, with anyone involved in the production. Uh, and anyone who owns a small business <laughs> can attest to the fact that there are so many moving parts, there are so many moving pieces, and there are so many people that help make these things come to reality. However, if you are a business owner in today's day and age and you bust out this, you may send some strange messages to your client. And I don't mean text messages because you literally cannot text on this phone. Okay, the next item we have in here is, oh my God, woo, this is a charcoal toothbrush. Oh my God, there's five in here? Are these disposable? You guys, oh my God, this is crazy. So, personal hygiene, hugely important, no matter what you're doing. I'm sure anyone watching this has probably brushed their teeth at some point in the past 48 hours, or at least, I'm hoping, and if we're lucky, 24 hours, and if we're really lucky, 12. I also literally did not know they made these. I knew they made charcoal toothpaste. I did not know they made charcoal toothbrushes. There are two things about this that I think speak to John, and they speak to every entrepreneur. Taking care of yourself is so important. If you are gonna go see a client, you're gonna be in a movie set, gotta brush your teeth, gotta put deodorant on, gotta shower, gotta wash your face, gotta do it all. And if you don't, you're gross. Or you're like me on Tuesdays, because I have therapy in the mornings and I don't have time to shower. Noodle, what do you think? Again, he's completely riveted. Noodle has four teeth in his mouth. I have absolutely no idea where to brush, but I'm gonna do this. You ready, watch. Noodle. And that's brushing Noodle's teeth. That's as close as we get to that. Thank you so much for watching. I adopted him about three and a half years ago, and he had 12 dead teeth in his mouth, and I ripped them all out. And I said to the vet, I was like, can I keep them and make a necklace out of them? And she was like, no. Rude. The final item in the John J. Bedayan box is I hate that I have to give these boxes away. These are really nice headphones. And I can see these being important for a billion reasons. I'm going to take them out because I'm so excited to see what they look like. <gasps> wow. Oh my word. Ooh, these are like door knocker headphones. I love when they cover your whole ear. Wait, I can't hear a thing. Right, ready? Okay, quick, Adam, say something to me. Seriously. What? Are you speaking to me? Another thing that I love about these headphones is I feel like a lot of people really love music, podcasts, um, books on tape. I know my dad just sent me like finance for millennials to listen to on tape. And I just like, I am so sorry, that's not gonna happen. But if I had these headphones, I could. So I think this is a really awesome item for every business owner to have, or every person to have. You gotta have headphones. Whether you like listening to stories, you like listening to music, or you like listening to podcasts like true crime, horrible podcasts like I do about horrible murders. If you lived in the 1970s, I just have to know how. How? If you lived in California in the 1970s, there is a 100% chance that you were murdered. 
Anyway, John, I think these are fabulous. Well, I'm screaming. I can just, now I get to tell that I'm just really yelling. Um, uh, these are a bold. Obviously the color of these are really bold, but these are sturdy. And I can bet these are awesome to use on set. I bet when he's listening to takes, I bet when he's pulling stuff, you know, uh, from different cuts, this is a really incredible piece of equipment to have. And then he can use the same thing on his commute home, or he can use the same thing to tune people out or to keep himself focused when he needs to. Noodle is not an entrepreneur and he has four pairs of these. And it's so strange because I did not buy them for him. I don't know where he got them. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this week's episode of Tools of the Trade, uh, featuring a box curated by John J. Bedayan. I don't know about you guys, but I learned a t an absolute ton about him, about the entertainment industry, about what it really takes to be a successful entrepreneur um, in the entertainment business. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are putting out video content just like this all the time. Uh, please follow us on Instagram, where we also put content just like this. And Noodle and I will see, yeah, man, talk about you. We will see you next time for a whole new box with um, my diamonds. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video, and be sure to tune in next time.